guys, welcome at my video. On this video here, I'm gonna prove you um, why I do the thermal compound uh, at my way, why I do um, aptly the thermal compound at my way. Because a lot of people are some, sometimes are talking about the air bubbles, this is so danger and blah 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 and whatever. I will prove you now in this video that this air bubbles is not that danger and this air bubbles are not always there. I will prove you this now, let me just clean this here because I have made you some tests. And like you can see we have here the, the cell processor from the PS3 and we have here the RSX heat breather from the PS3. These are two heat breathers. We can use wood, uh, I don't care, but yeah, let's take this one, it's okay here. So we don't need that much thermal content because this one here is a bit bigger. Okay, and now I will add the thermal compound, like on my other videos also, I will do first uh, a bit thermal compound here. We got the nano grease thermal compound, and yeah, when you buy this one here, you got uh, a small thing here, also with. And then we got here the MX4 thermal compound and the MX2 thermal pest. And they are all here great. The only one that is not great is this one here. I don't like it that much, but uh, I've just buy it because of this party, the small one. I like it very much. And now we will add the thermal content at my way, and I will put the dot method over there. You can say the P method, and you will see uh, that it's all perfect. I will begin now, and uh, I will demonstrate you now how the air bubbles exists. Okay. So let me put here just like on my other video first the. The, the thermal compound like I always do yeah. so I will make it quick now and like I say this thermal compound here is not the best but uh, I bet it's better than the standard one and um, so I will do this test also with the uh, what's that here look that's why I say this thermal compound is not the best yeah. but it's not problem so this is just here look this shit you see a bit dirty I don't know why and uh, yeah, I will show you now also the same in the other thermal compound with the MX4 and the MX2, very great also. And the Arctic Silver 5 uh, I have not ready here because it's empty and I need to buy it new. So I think this is full enough now. Okay, and here, but you can do it also perfect if you want. This is just to demonstrate, you can put a bit more. Of course, like I have done with my other videos, and um, that's why I will do this now here to show you guys. This air bubbles comes not from this point here. The air bubbles comes when it has no power. Yeah. So let me make it here. And a bit. Uh, yeah. Like I say, just for showing you and proving you guys that this air bubbles bullshit is just not that danger and now we will add now the, the p the dot meter we can say and now we will press this down okay i hope you can see this great so because the, i need to take care of the lights and now you can see this is getting everywhere here yeah Okay, and you see, this is just perfect now everywhere. And now I will show you why the air bubbles will come. But like I, 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 I show you now, you can see there are no air bubbles here a bit maybe, but I will show you now the reason. And when I will let the power now, when I will let the power, um, the air bubbles will come, you see. But normally when you press this down with a lot of power like I do now, then you have no air bubbles. And that's the same way also on the PlayStation 3. When you put the screws together, then you get no air bubbles, okay? This is just bullshit what the most are talking about. And now I will let it be, you see? I will let the power be. I will take my fingers off and you will see the air bubbles come. Okay, take care and now. You see? Everywhere now are the air bubbles coming. You see? Everywhere. And the people say, oh, these are air bubbles, you will destroy your chip. <laughs> okay, so you can see here, uh, everywhere this air bubbles, what the, what the guys are talking about. And this is not that bad and that's not danger. 
because this is this happens only when it has no power but when you put the screws together of your playstation 3 then this will have power back again you see you see and no video on youtube here has proved this and i will do this now because i'm fucked up because the most people are writing bad comments oh the air bubbles and here are no air bubbles and when you press this really bad 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 boy down you can see here then you got no air bubbles just when you let it be the air bubbles come back you see here again and now i will clean this now and we will do the same um with the um, with the p method and the other thing is also when you can see i hope you can see this great let me see yeah this is okay so uh, the other thing is also when you try to open your playstation 3 again the problem is when you make just the p method um that it's um, really yeah you can say hard to get out the chip you see like you can see here this happens the same to your playstation so you must be afraid that you don't get a yellow light of death because when you add just the piece size then it's 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 hard to get out the the console again and then the chip yeah uh, will be like that you see on the platine and um, every chip here has down a lot of uh, contacts you know the 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 salt the salt bubbles we can say the salt uh, circles and when your console was a long time hot and a long time years long running very hot then it can be dangerous because when you want to open your console then you uh, you must be afraid that the contacts down on the platine to the chip gets broken yeah and it just need one one contact just when one contact has no contact then you get this error this yellow light of that is just the error that uh, it's no contact existing so the console gets not on because the contact is missing and then you get this problem but a lot of people I don't know why they just don't want to understand that this air bubbles are not existing because of the thermal combo. Um, you can um, you can have also air bubbles when you um, when you add yeah uh, too bad you see when you don't put too much then you can get this air bubbles also because this is so yeah so smart you need a lot you need a lot of thermal compound and not uh, just a bit you see because yeah when you just put a bit here inside like you can say like this here yeah so when you put just a bit thermal compound like this shit here then it's of course shit you see because yeah look this is just fucked up and then you have here a lot of big air bubbles and all the shit but like I, I like I say it's better you put a bit more then to less when you yeah when you put not that much over it then you have other problems because that's why I say it's the that's why I say I make my method first and then I put the the P side so let me think just this uh, quickly and now we will do the same also on the with the P method that other people see can see the proof I'm not talking god shit or whatever and I will demonstrate you now so now we will just put the P size here okay here we go this is now the P size like the most say it must be like that or you will destroy your chip okay so let's test this now and here we go so watch this okay now we have here the first problem I'm pressing a lot down and you can see already here the air bubbles okay oh, air bubbles on the P method okay and I'm pressing so much down you can see that this this places here are missing you see uh, because so so the 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 hit breeders they are not perfect and that's why we lap sometimes you can lap the CPU so and you can see I press a lot with a lot of power down and now I will let the power and you will see the air bubbles coming okay are you ready guys <laughs> one two three and here we go air bubbles air bubbles oh my god your chip will die that's why I say this is just bullshit you can see we get here we get here a lot more than at my method and I hope you can see this guys a huh? little bit down here so let's focus this 
Yeah, now you can see the air bubbles. The ah, air bubbles, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. That's why I said this is just fucked up, guys. Yeah, no panic on Titanic. And this is just normal because um, you let the power, yeah? And wh when you let the power be, then this gets, yeah. This gets like you can say easy back again, you see? But when you close your PlayStation 3, then this stays close and the air bubbles, yeah, et voila. Rien ne va plus. Once the air bubbles are gone, you see? That's just easy guys. You can press like you want and you see no air bubbles. And when you let it be, they're coming back. See, see, see. Okay guys. And that's why I say I just wanted to make this video to prove the guys out there here that these air bubbles are just coming when you take off your chip again. The most important thing is that you need really to take uh, yeah, not that much thermal compound, but it should be a bit, yeah? And when you do not too much, and when you just do a little, 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 little bit of thermal pass, then you can have also a bad cooling. But the most important is that it's not too much, and not, yeah, you can say, too less. I hope you can understand my English. Sorry again for my English. And so, this here was the best, proof now to show you guys that my method is still perfect and wonderful and I have made a lot of consoles, a lot a lot of consoles I begin all the shit with the PlayStation 1 and I have made a lot CPUs on the computer and all with computers and PCs so and now here this was the test with the fucked up thermal compound uh, the name is Nano Grease here and now we will take another one and we can take here, let's go with the MX2, I hope this will be enough, because it's already going off. I think this should be enough. And now we make the also, oh, I can see, maybe it's empty also. Okay, it's empty. Then we take now the MX4, because the other one was empty. And I think this is empty also, but I have here a lot of new ones. So, okay guys. We go here again, let me clean this perfect here. Still see here a bit. So we make here also the P metal. So, okay. And let's test this also again on with the MX4. And here you will see the same shit. We put it together this here. And now we can see again why. I just add first a bit thermal compound everywhere and then I do the P the dot method, the P method or whatever you call it. So let's press down this now and um, ah, yeah with a lot of power and you can see here I hope you can see no air bubbles now just a bit all over around you can see a bit because the power is not enough and now I will let it go and here we go again air bubbles everywhere so guys what the fuck okay it's no problem i tell you this again and again the air bubbles are just coming when the power gets up when the power gets off then the air bubbles exists but as long as these are together yeah let's see let's just do it like i will press it now like the playstation when the screws are inside then this will press it down and you got no air bubbles. I hope you can see this great. So, but when you open your console, the air bubbles come back because the power is missing, you see? And you can find no video on YouTube why the air bubbles comes. And this is the best proof to show you guys. The air bubbles are just coming when the hitch breather has no more power, uh, we can say contact, uh, with power to the, yeah, to the cooler. Okay guys? So, and here we can see, I have pressed a lot of power now, let me press and press this, I will stand up now and press this a lot of sound. <laughs> so, okay guys, this is the most I can do now with my power, and I have now about 64 kilograms here, pressing down, and we can see here, 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 and here is missing. And that's why I do that at my method, okay guys? 
So here is the proof and here are the air bubbles like you can see. The air bubbles are also existing on the P method. And yeah, I hope I could prove you this guys. Yeah? I will do now again my method with the same thermal compound and then we will see. My method is still better because at last I have all sides I have thermal compound. So guys, uh, like I told, the other one was also empty and I got here a new MX2, but the MX2 or MX4 is not, not metal and uh, the MX2 is, has also good tests. And yeah, like, like I told, let me, um, let me see, uh, it's okay. Let me do it like I do this on the other videos again. Okay, let me add a lot of thermal compounds. First, this is the method how I do, yeah. And then we can compare again at last what is better and what not. And like I told, that's why I always do this on my videos. And I hope this will stop now. Because a lot of guys are talking so much so much shit and oh the air bubbles and whatever. Fuck off this air bubbles. It's fully normal that the air bubbles existing because you let uh, you let the um, the power go and then this air bubbles will exist. It's full, normal and um, that's why I do this video that you can see this. I will prove you this now. So. so guys, it should be enough because um, like I told can put also here everywhere yeah here and here but um, this is your choice yeah. you can make it perfect you don't need because at last we will do the P method and when the P method is over there then uh, at last with the screws this will be really perfect later okay much better than all that much better than only the P method or the dot method or whatever you call this so guys I think we can let it go this is just for the test now here and here and here okay guys so you can see uh, here, 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 here. So it does not need to be so clean because when the um, key method is coming over there it will be perfect okay let me uh, just clean this here now and now we will put the P method, the P side over there, the curl. So now it should be enough now. Clean this. And now again, let's see. And you see, I have made not not that nice. On the other video, I have made it better. It is just the first uh, 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 fast test. You can see. You can see here now. We get in the circle now. And like you can see, it's getting everywhere, you see? Now with the power, it's getting everywhere, all the chip. And this is how I do on my videos, and it's just perfect, okay? And now when I will let the power go on, you see, not that much air bubbles as the other P size. Yeah, you can see here just a bit, but this is just perfect, yeah? I will press now, again, much harder than like before. <coughs> and I will let it know and like you can see it's just wonderful okay guys I hope this was a good proof for you and we got here very very small air bubbles but just on this place is here and that's why I say this is fully normal when it has no more power that it presses down then you get the air bubbles that easy this can be <laughs> the reason why you get air bubbles and this is fully normal because the power is not pressing and when you press it down again, you see no air bubbles, okay? And I take it off, and here I hope you can see how the air bubbles come. So let me... Yeah, you can see a bit. I hope. And yeah, I hope this was a great proof. Like you can see here when I press, the air bubbles go here on this side here, like you can see. And when I let the, the power be, then this comes back, okay? But I think press it again here, not down, but like I told, with the screws this is much much harder together. So, I tell you again guys, no panic on the Titanic, 
I wish you the best, yeah? And if you like, then subscribe my channel here on this side. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks to my assistant Johnny in the house to be. Okay, guys, see ya. And if you like this video, subscribe my channel and leave a comment. Peace. I got my swagger back. Yes, I got my swagger back. Yes, I got my swagger back. Yes, I got my swagger back.